What is up guys, today we're going to have a look at the Suaoki solar panel phone battery charger and this is the box that it came with and it says Suaoki brings sunshine to Trav, they forgot the L there. I'm going to take a look at the product and uh, see what we get inside. It's kind of like a compact little bag, textured feel to it. So you've got four different carabiners, uh, info, and a micro USB to normal. Uh, this is the 20 watt, and I think, what is it? It says it's a five, five volt, 2.1 amp charging. I think typically most mobile phones have a charging input or output of uh, 2.5 so this will charge your phone or tablet relatively fast so this is where the Suaoki is currently living at the moment <laughs> I've been using it for about two months or a couple months now it is currently the 11th of June and got a bit of an overcast here but the sun is still shining and as you can see here I have got the suction cups got one two around there and this is basically where it stays and it is currently charging it's at 28% you can't really see because of the reflection and this should charge to about 80% if I leave it. I mean, it is a slow charge because today the sun isn't as strong as it should be. Also, the Suoki is better if it was collecting the sun if it was on an angle. Now, I need to test this outside. It should charge much faster, but I mean, it does the job on the windowsill with the suction cups and it has fully charged this power ad that I've got. It says it's a 10,000 milliamp and this has charged this fully. I mean, I've left it for a few days and this is, I mean, it's trying to charge now, but it's actually full and this will charge like your mobile device or tablet at least three times I think so I mean a good thing to do is get a, a massive power bank and then just leave it on the windowsill like this what I've done here and that will just store a lot of uh, energy so you can charge whatever you want and this is a bit small so it's, it's a bit of a pain in the ass having to come back back and forth to uh, charge this every couple days but you know free energy a bit of a workout just charge this tablet I've got this tablet here that's pretty much dead Let's see if it charges this now you can have two USB ports going up up here it says one's for a tablet one for a phone but for this example I'm just using one USB for optimal charging. This is actually, I don't know if this is charging. And this has been dead for about a week or so, so it will take a while for it to come up as charging. There we go. Trying to get the best angle here. So you can see it. So this is charging. Not, I haven't actually tested this. See how long it takes to charge from dead to 100%. But I'm going to leave this here for now. So I mean, this is just a small example of what the Suaoki does stuck on a windowsill. I mean, this isn't the best uh, result or testing method. I mean, obviously putting it outside 
for it to um, sit there and charge will be much better than having a meter to read how many uh, or how much power is going to the <coughs> to the uh, meter from the sun. But I thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing with the Suaoki. Like I said, this is designed for outdoor use, camping and stuff. But for me, I'm just using it to get free energy. I just need to get a bigger power bank. And if, if I do go camping or traveling, I can bring this out with me. So, I mean, it works, it does the job, it has three panels, two USB charging ports. So far, I've had no problems with the Suoki. And it's lightweight, it has a kind of fabric, kind of backpack texture to it. And it looks good. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon.